Hello all, welcome back. It's time for a midweek news roundup of all the news so far in brief leading up to the Friday Anime Buffet where we talk, we'll talk about all of this stuff in detail. Viz has announced they'll be launching a 24-hour anime service on some major game console, game console to be announced in the future. Don't know what that means. Uh, we do know that they're going to show stuff uncut where possible, in English where possible, dubbed in English where possible, in HD where available, and they're going to premiere Tiger and Bunny, Inuyasha the Final Act, Zetman, Lagrange, uh, new episodes of Naruto Shippuden, and the Berserk movies. Interesting. We now have more information on the 4Kids sale of Yu-Gi-Oh! and actually some other assets that they have to Konami and Kids Co., so we now know where all that is going to end up. They will end up in what looks like good homes. Bad news for Sentai Filmworks. The original production committee behind Rokubu Fast Break has requested a buyback of all the series' home video rights from all licenses out, or licensees outside of Asian territories. So they're basically going to have to give back their home video rights on Rokubu. They will retain their streaming rights, however, plus a few others. Kind of interesting. Funimation has posted some videos about their upcoming release of Penny and Stocking with Garter Belt Complete, uh, along with some Adult Swim tags inside the videos. Now, unfortunately, this does not mean it's going to be on Adult Swim. It's there because those are popular tags, so it doesn't really mean anything. Although they did say that they've submitted Penny and Stocking to Adult Swim, maybe someday, who knows? It'd be pretty awesome. <clears throat> also awesome, the Kickstarter for the Unico manga has funded... So Digital Manga got all $20,500 pledged in less than a week for Osamu Tezuka's Unico Manga. That's pretty cool. Uh, also cool, if you want to see uh, or, or talk to or at least get a chance to listen to Gen Urobuchi, the author of Madoka Magica as well as Fate Zero and a bunch of other stuff, if you're going to Otakon, you're in luck. He's going to be at Otakon in Maryland, and so you get a chance to see him. That's uh, that will be July 27th through 29th. By the way, I uh, Nonaka is going to be there as well as some other interesting people. AIC over back in Japan has announced they're going to be uh, releasing an anime to teach English to otaku. It'll be called Real Otaku English Ribbon Chan, aka I'm sorry, Real Otaku English Ribbon Chan, a magical girl who fights in English, aka Maji de Otaku na English. Ribunchan Ego de Takakao Maho Shoujo. Yeah. Much like Moetan and actually has the same character designer. <clears throat> Meanwhile, still in Japan, there's going to be a live action TV series retrospective about Macross, celebrating the 30th anniversary of Macross. The program is going to feature instructor Cheryl, don't know if that'll be the actual actress or stand in or what, who will lecture on the history of the Macross franchise over the course of history. And my goodness, would that be helpful, because what a tortured history it is. Uh, obviously, it'll be all, uh, all Japanese, but airing basically during prime time, 10 to 10.30 p.m. on Tokyo MX, beginning on July 2nd, and then um, uh, br broadcast later on Fridays. So that's pretty darn cool that they'll get to see that. And appropriate, considering the fact that the Japanese Liberal Democratic Party has announced they're going to be uh, showing a bunch of panels online tomorrow, Thursday... And one of the panels will discuss, and I quote, the Gundam Development Project as seriously considered by the Liberal Democratic Party, end quote. That's right. From what they have announced about this, there's a bit more, they are looking into funding the development of, quote, a piloted, two-legged, walking humanoid robot, or robots. Thank you, Japan. So more on that and other news stories this Friday on the Friday Anime Buffet, where we'll be talking about that otaku no cooking. And I will be showing off a classic anime film, Robot Carnival, which features some of the greatest minds in anime making short films about robots. So it's basically this anthology film of robot stories. It's really, really interesting. And so we'll be watching that. I'll be providing some information and commentary on that as I am want to do. Actually, I should mention that. One of the things I've been doing recently on the Friday Buffet is introducing each of these mo uh, movies or OVAs or whatever with some historical background so you'll kind of know where they came from. Not a review, not an analysis, just here's what was going on, here's why this was made, here's why it's significant. 
Uh, and so that will be happening along with, as usual, a taco no cooking and all the other fun stuff we do. So that's the plan for this Friday. Hope you'll join us at ustream.tv slash channel slash otaku news live. And I look forward to seeing you there. Have a great week.